I am Bill Cortright with Living Right with Bill Cortright. And this is the Stress Mastery Podcast, where we take you from the science to the spirituality of stress mastery. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Stress Mastery Podcast. I am your host, Bill Cortright, and I am here with that one and only super millennial, David Barreto, giving us the millennial perspective. How you doing, Big Dave? I'm doing good. So this week, our topic is the gift of conflict. We opened up on Sunday with a Stress Mastery Podcast Weekend Edition with host Mark Middlestead on the element of meaning and conflict resolution. David's Monday with the Super Millennial was on Stop Created Conflict, Today's Health Huddles, The Body in Conflict, Tomorrow's Meeting of the Minds, we'll talk on the chaos of the mind. This week's Connection Thursday is the gift of conflict. And our book study Friday, we will continue A Happy Pocket Full of Money by David Cameron Giandi. Did I miss anything? I think you got it. So how you been, man? I didn't mean, see you. I haven't seen you like in a month. Yeah, I've been uh, dog sitting. <laughs> I, had to, I had to do a, a solo episode on Friday. Yeah, it was a good episode. <laughs> you listened to it? Yeah. It was good? <laughs> it was yeah. a good episode. It's not the same when you're not sitting here, but you know, I know what it's like to be you guys now listening to it from <laughs> the other side. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, if I have to do a solo episode, that book is a good one because it's just easy. <laughs> yeah. That is such a good book. Very good book. So you ready to rock this thing? Let's get it going. So this week... Our topic is the gift of conflict. And today, as health huddles, we're going to have a discussion on the body in conflict. So conflict is a battle or prolonged struggle. The human being is hardwired for behavior. This behavior is dictated by what is held in mind. The human construct supports whatever focus is held in mind. Red zone or green zone. When we are stressed out, The human construct works to set our behavior. One, the alarm system activates the red zone. Two, the stress loop connects head to heart. You now feel the activated program in head. Three, the mind identity. The ego takes conscious mind control and expands the conflict. Number four, the body identity. The body supports the mind. You feel the emotion. And Finally, number five, the identity base is set. And this is set to drive your behavior and event, judgment, and reaction. Now, understand there's no problem with the human construct setting off the alarm system. It's a normal part of being a human being. It is protecting your perception of your environment. This system kept human beings alive for hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of years. The problem is not the alarm system red zone. Reacting to a conflict is not the problem. The problem is being stuck in the conflict and stuck in the alarm system red zone. You understand? Got it. So the human construct has two very important functions as we talk about the body today. One function is to support the programs and belief systems held in mind. The second is to hold the body in stasis so the body can repair and recuperate. So the recuperation system, when it activates, it puts the green zone activated, number one. Two, connects the vagus nerve, the three brains, head brain, heart brain, gut brain. Three, the mind identity, you become mindful, take conscious mind control. Four, the body identity, The body supports the mind and you feel calm. And number five, the identity base is set to drive behavior in event, awareness, and response. Now, in this state, the body and every single cell in the body is in well-being. As the body in stasis balances hormones, digestion, and repairs. So you understand the function. Every human being on the planet functions this way. Yeah, I think I'm pushing myself, you know, to more of extreme limits lately. I've definitely learned to appreciate this function of the body. And you get to really notice it the more in tune you become with your body. And you think about this. When you watch and and study the tribe we talked about last week, the Pidehan tribe in Brazil, and we watch the Pidehan tribe function, 
you actually can see the perfect function of the human construct. They live in the jungles of Brazil, totally happy, not stressed out. It's unnatural for the human being to stay worried or to be stuck in regret or to be in conflict. When we stay in conflict, our body will support the mind. This means the bo- if the mind is in conflict, the body is in conflict. Mm-hmm. The body supports the mind through what? Feelings and emotions. Mm-hmm. And these feelings and emotions are designed to drive us into behavior. And when we do not execute conflict resolution, the body gets stuck in conflict. Yeah. Your thoughts on that? Yeah, I've, I've talked myself into feeling down or feeling, you know, sad, tired, depressed, you name it, um, just from a thought, you know, and sure. I can snap myself out of it in seconds the same way um, in the gym, same way, hanging out with family, same way in all different circumstances. I've definitely saw how the, the thoughts can really just well, change. Well, think about it. If you wake up in the morning overwhelmed, mm-hmm. right, and you don't know you're overwhelmed, but you just wake up and you just overwhelmed, you feel so much pressure immediately watch the words you say. Mm-hmm. Oh, I feel so tired. I don't feel well today. I feel like something's coming on. Mm-hmm. What that is, is behavior, believe it or not. Yeah. When you're in overwhelm, the behavior is in the red zone and that behavior is fear. It's avoidance. Mm-hmm. It's procrastination. So you feel sick. Yeah. And then eventually, if you keep saying that, the body will support the mind. Yeah. So... Think about it. We have all, every one of us have been activated and filled with emotion where maybe you fought back tears or you had to push the emotion down or maybe you had a conflict where you could feel your heart pounding and the adrenaline flowing, but you pushed it down because of fear or you were not in a position to act like you couldn't retaliate. Mm -hmm. And this, when this happens, pushes the body into conflict. The body is ready to fight or flight. And instead, we push those feelings down and it gets stuck in neutral. Because obviously, you can't strangle your boss, right? And so you push it down. But as a, a small child for me, my early, early years, I had to endure years of repressing anger. This actually put my body in such a state of conflict that at age eight, I would get sick with shingles. That was my body expressing the anger that I did not have, that I did not release through conflict resolution because I was a kid. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yeah, I used to lock myself in a room, <laughs> listen to music, and just kind of tuck heard. my say away. Yeah, and that, I that's heard how the I stories. did it. Yeah. yeah. So, is it, you got to think about that though, too, David. If we talk about it, it's not appropriate to just start yelling and screaming each time we get upset, right? But The fact is, when the program activates in the mind, the body is in reaction to support the mind. And this is why it's so important to develop the skills to slow down, to let go, to be mindful. These skills are essential if one is ever going to achieve optimal health. Mm -hmm. So if at 9 a.m., You're at work and you were brought into the supervisor's office and you were written up for an incident. I can promise you're going to get activated, right? Yeah. The human being is hardwired for behavior. Behavior is dictated by what's held in mind. Now, you know that being written up in this whole situation is a mistake. You can defend, but if your supervisor will not listen, you cannot attack. So what do you do? You repress. And this pushes the body into conflict. Now you have a choice. You could become aware, slow down, and respond to the situation, doing what you can to resolve the situation and letting go on what you cannot control. If this is your direction, the body will reset and the body conflict is done. But if you complain, defend, and attack, and go cut your supervisor's tires and go off the rails, and sit in judgment and reaction, the body will support the mind, and the body remains in conflict. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. You ever slit your supervisor's tires? 
I thought about it, maybe. <laughs> so, so you're human, right? So in these situations, when we get in these situations in life when emotion is very strong, you go into perceptual blindness. You have to understand this is the way we operate. And the brain shuts down all rational decision making. And our body's filled with emotion and conflict. It wants to fight, attack, or run away, but it can't. So what happens? The body remains in conflict. So Dr. Bessel van der Kolk, author of The Body Keeps Score, states that our brains actually try to protect our body from feeling uncomfortable emotions. This is how the brain will bury trauma. Although the intentions of our brain is good, right? Bury the trauma, hide it so you don't have to deal with it. This protective mechanism creates or strengthens programs held in the mind, and this creates conflict between the feeling body, which is supposed to support the mind, and the rational mind. So creating conflict of the operation of the human construct, when this happens, this creates trauma programs. You understand? Yeah. That's why some people don't remember their trauma and all of a in coaching, it comes up and it's like, holy God. Yeah, when you get that come? trigger and just like, wow. Yes. And so here's the catch 22. While the brain is protecting the body by burying the program, the only way one can heal and let go of the program and conflict is actually to experience the very emotion the brain is trying to avoid. And I'll discuss this more tomorrow in Meeting of the Minds when we address the chaos of the mind. So understand, we only learn through experience. We do not learn skills through our intellect. We really learn through the experiences we have. So neuroscientist Dr. Antonio Damasio, the author of the book Self Comes to Mind, states... Our emotions are the body's way of understanding our experiences. He states, our emotions supplies our brain with truth about our life, which means feeling our emotion is vital to our peace of mind. Truth can only be experienced. Your thoughts? Yeah, I've, I have that a lot. Um, and, and I've noticed it in multiple different areas, but one that... Um, with a lot of the stuff that I've done with my car, I'm always the first to do it. And I have a lot of people saying, how did you do this? How did you do that? And I have no problem sharing it with, with people. And nobody ever does it. Nobody ever goes and goes through the experience and the headaches and all sure. these things that come along with it. And that's where the gratification of it comes from. And that's why I, I enjoy doing it so much is that experience from it. And that's the same reason why those people are like, your car looks stupid. It's an experience. You know, it comes deep within. I've learned that with websites, podcasting, all that stuff. Sure. I've learned it until I put it into practice. It meant nothing. You have to experience it. And you know, the challenge of unresolved conflict, right? Someone can just give you a certain look, mm -hmm. right? Your amygdala scanning the environment or maybe a tone of voice. Yeah, the way somebody says it. Right? Something. And this can activate a program. When a program activates... Yet, there's really nothing happening in the environment. It's like nobody said anything to you, right? Nobody did anything. The human construct will set the state, your state, in event, judgment, reaction. And the body will support the activated program in the mind. And just like that, you feel angry or sad or anxious. You don't even know where it happened. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's why the awareness of what you're feeling is so important. I'm going to talk about that tomorrow. I'm going to teach you guys really how to shift your programming. But when the body is in conflict and it's reacting to an unresolved conflict from the past, so let's go back to this gentleman who got in trouble. May, you may be in the new job now, right? And your new supervisor just left a message to see you in her office. <laughs> and boom! Boom! You're relieving, the, you're, you're relieving the emotions from the last job. This program activated will be more intense than the original program. And this will create confusion. Because as the feeling is not matching the present situation, creating mind-body conflict. You're in a state of all-out panic. And all your supervisor does wants to see you. 
You don't have any idea what's going on. You've already created an entire movie in your mind. Not just a story, a movie. It's a two-hour movie already because of what happened in the past. Yeah, I've even had that where I felt like I was back in like middle school and elementary. Like that's how far I feel like that child walking to the principal's office. Yes. Like it really hits me that far back and it's such a familiar feeling. But it hasn't happened for 15, 20 years. Kind of uh, it's, and this is what you've got to understand. This is why awareness is important. Is if You don't have to know where the emotion's coming from. You just have to be able to allow it. So you have to understand, every red zone energy is a conflict. Conflict is caused when our expectation, which is set by our perception, of the beliefs and programs held in mind are not met. But conflicts can be activated from past experiences that were so painful our brains hid them away. Or a conflict can be activated from our past when we failed to resolve an issue and just pushed it down into the cage. Going to the dentist. I was going to say it. <laughs> she already, Linda already said that. She, she goes, I think this is going to be on a podcast, isn't it? Yeah. We're not going to do that to her, are we? You hear the, the silence? Wow, nobody's talking on our podcast. So let's, so let's just continue here. The body in conflict. The body in conflict becomes stuck in the alarm system red zone. And when this happens, the body fails to balance the system by switching over to the recuperation system green zone. The recuperation system green zone is that parasympathetic nervous system. Now, the parasympathetic, parasympathetic nervous system controls the body's rest, digestion, relaxation, and healing functions. This is done when the human construct is, one, the recuperation system, green zones activated. Two, the vagus nerve activates. Three, the mind identity relaxes. Four, the body identity supports the mind. And this is connecting the hormones, healing inflammation, optimizing digestion, and number five, the identity base is set in the state, event, awareness, and response. You cannot resolve. This is going to be an important statement because it's going to set off a lot of programming. You cannot resolve the body conflict through diet and exercise if your mind is in conflict all day long. Yeah. Thoughts on that? Yeah, I have a lot of people that use the gym as what they would quote unquote say therapy time, right? It's my time. And that can be true. But if 22 hours of your day is just you overthinking. And but even in things, the gym, we talked about mm -hmm. the challenge we put into the community. And I put out last, last week, take a look at your day mm -hmm. and really be honest. How much time were you in the cage mind? Mm -hmm. When you're in a cage mind, that is the red zone people, whatever. It's automatic, right? You're not conscious. How much are you in a creation mind? Do you really work out in a creation mind? Because if you're on your phone and working out, you're not working out in a creation mind. You're in the cage mind, right? Yeah. And how much, when you're in a creation mind, you know you're connected, you're calm, you're in the green zone. Mm -hmm. You're present. And then what about the mastermind is when you're in flow. Time stops, things like that. I can say I train in a mastermind because it just... I look and it's like an hour and a half, two hours. I better go to work. You know, it just, it starts to flow that way. But that's the way I was taught to train. Mm -hmm. So you understand, you can exercise and diet all you want. If you're in that cage mind and never connecting to creation mind, it doesn't matter. The body cannot heal, rest, relax, digest, unless the recuperation system is activated. If that alarm system is activated, the stress loop cuts off the vagus nerve and the connection to the three brains. Head brain, heart brain, and the all-important gut brain is cut off. The gut brain is essential to end body conflict. The gut brain is actually the third part of the autonomic nervous system. You have the sympathetic nervous system, red zone. You have the parasympathetic nervous system, green zone. And then you have the enteric, the gut nervous system. And this can only be activated in the green zone. The gut brain holds 95% of the serotonin in your body. This is the, the chemical that makes you feel good. 
makes you feel happy. It has 100 million neurons that affects the bacteria living in your gut. All the supplements and diet in the world cannot override the body in conflict when it's stuck in the red zone. So this week, we will deal with all three aspects of what must happen to create optimal health. The body, the mind, and life experience. So let's focus now on the body in conflict and taking steps to reset and balance the body. First, the cause of conflict. Stress mastery is developing the habit of, of the skill of conflict resolution. It is being stressed out that creates the body in conflict. Bottom line. Yeah. The body stays in conflict and stressed when we consume too much refined sugar, when we don't get enough sleep, when we are dehydrated, the body stays stressed out as long as we are in defend and attack, as long as we are drinking alcohol, as long as we are numbing ourselves with television or whatever we're doing. Do you understand? Yeah. So when the body remains in conflict, conflict, we create elevated levels of cortisol, which eventually burns the adrenal glands out, and this further drives poor sleep patterns. It's an imbalance of our sex hormones. It throws off thyroid function. This will cause weight gain, mood changes, depression, can cause chronic pain, low testosterone in women, or I'm sorry, in men, and hormone imbalance in women, especially the hormone progesterone. Progesterone is the balancing hormone for women in estrogen. And when this is imbalanced, they get brain fog and, and fatigue, anxiety, mm -hmm. right? So moving the body out of conflict. Let me give you first my wish list and something that you could do today. You all right with that? You have any questions before we start? No, let's do it. So if you want to move the body out of conflict, it starts with testing. You want to look at the way the body is functioning to determine the conflict. Now, yes, tomorrow we'll talk on the mind, but let's focus on the body right now. You need to know where's the conflict coming from? Where's the imbalance? So you want to get blood work, testing, a comprehensive metabolic panel, because we got to see how is the liver functioning? How is your renal function, the kidneys? How are the electrolytes working? This is an important test to see the overall function, because if it's off, the body will stay in conflict. You want to look at your lipid panel, your cholesterol, but I prefer deeper testing and looking at the particles of cholesterol. You want to look at inflammation testing. You want to see, all right, do you have inflammation? And if you do, why? What kind of inflammation? Is it arterial inflammation, cellular inflammation? Do you have an imbalance between the omega-3 and 6s? Are you having an imbalance? You definitely want to look at the stress response. What is that AM cortisol? and fasting insulin. What is that telling us? It tells us how the body is handling stress. You wanna get a hemoglobin A1C. You wanna know how is your body processing carbohydrates. That's telling you over a 12 week period. You wanna look at your hormones. Men, gotta look at your testosterone levels, right? But there's also IGF-1, your growth hormone levels, DHEA, very important, pregnenolone also. Vitamin D, everybody, please. It's the main shelf of your hormones. We need to know all that. For women, you've got to look at different testing for different stages of a woman's life, right? Mm -hmm. You've got to look at the right testing. You've got to look at the balance of your estrogen, especially your estradiol, your progesterone, and your testosterone. All of them have to be balanced. You want to look at a full thyroid test. That means you don't want to look at a TSH. People, that is not a thyroid test. It's a thyroid stimulating hormone. It's a pituitary test. You need to see how is the thyroid gland working. That's a free T4. You can get T4, but free T4. But also, is it converting into active thyroid, which is free T3? You want to get a full thyroid. You want to look at genetic testing. Everything. You want to see your APOE. What is it? How does your body work? How does your body produce cholesterol? What is your genetic components? You want to look at nutrient testing. What are you missing? Vitamin B, vitamin C, vitamin E, vitamin D. What are you missing? 
And I like the in-body test that Dr. Uh, Dr. Brian's using now and stuff. What does that tell us? Muscle to fat ratio. You want to look at those biomarkers. Where are they? All of this tells us, okay, there's our conflict. Here's how we have to fix it. Mm -hmm. you have anything you want to add to that? Did I miss anything? Yeah, I think, um, I think that's very important, especially for uh, the imbalances or the lack of hormones. Um, I've talked about this before on the podcast. Um, there's a lot of people that uh, have low testosterone in young males, you know, and I think that is something that's important because a lot of times you'll blame depression or not being able to recover and things like that um, on your day to day. Um, and uh, that could just be due to an imbalance that you don't know about. So unless you have the proper testing, you can never really figure that out. Absolutely. And, and so once you get to testing, then number two, you can reset the body. And that's your mm -hmm. diet, right? And there's different diets we reset you with. I don't know exactly what to do with you. Now, we have three types of resets. Mm -hmm. And all these resets bring you into your lifestyle program, right? The resets are different, but the lifestyle programs aren't that different for all of them. Some of them are. Yeah. But the stress responders, you could be a cage rattler. You could be a stress belly. You could be a hormone trap. Or you could be something I have to figure out. <laughs> Sometimes yeah, there's been those cases. I have to figure it out, yeah. right? We're working with Mr. Hill right now and we're figuring this out mm -hmm. and it's working fantastic. By the way, I don't know. He, he knows that, you know, carries already lost 12 pounds. So just so you know, <laughs> I mean, it's just when it's right, it's right. Yeah. So number three, number two, you got to reset the body and the diet, right? Number three, you got to focus on sleep. People, you need to start measuring your sleep. That means you want to start measuring your REM sleep. And your deep sleep. The deep sleep is telling you how the body's recuperating. The REM sleep is telling you how the mind is recuperating. And you want to start setting your time to go to bed and setting your environment to sleep. If you want to be healthy, you want the body out of conflict, you have to set sleep. Number four, hydration. 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 If you don't drink enough water, I don't give a crap what you do. You're going to stay in the red zone and in conflict. Yeah. Number five, exercise. You need to get educated in exercise. By the way, in the Stress Mastery community, uh, David, I need you to take that post and put it into courses and, and that, that Jason put in there. Okay. You saw it, right? And the, the resources. Yes, because I don't want to lose that because yeah. that's got to, it's so good. Jason Nutting put in an incredible workout for all different levels and videos to go with it. We have, there's nothing else we need to do in exercise. You know that, right? Appreciate he put it on there. So if you could take that <laughs> yeah. and put that in the resources. And that, here, I'm giving you orders while, I'm, while we do this. <laughs> so you exercise, but you got to learn what your HRV is. You got to learn what's right for you. What weights you got to lift and what's right for you. What's cardio? What's your zones? This, remember, this is my wish list. Number six is personal development. You have to, you're not going to get the body out of conflict if you don't work on the mind. You got to set the day, green focus power hour. You got to name the ego. You got to learn to let go technique, learn to slow down. Number seven, you got to learn to close the day. I can't tell you the importance of transitioning from your work day to your night routine. And number eight, shift coaching. Change the program through life experience. This is what shift coaching does. And number nine, proper supplementation my daughter chelsea she had all these things and we did all these tests and there's nothing medically off it's all lifestyle off and the main thing that's off on her is she doesn't process b vitamins she had a positive methylation factor she had little things that the moment we change it will change everything in her physiology but if we don't know that yeah. we wouldn't know what's going on with her mm -hmm. it was incredible so that's my wish list anything you would add to the wish list um the only thing I, I would have from there is the, the same thing with the, the exercise part of it is you test the same way that you would anything else. You oh, go the part in, test. Yeah. yeah you go through it. And if you have access to that, if you're down, you know, south, we'll definitely uh, contact us. We have some options for you. Uh, but that was something that really changed everything for me because I was working out like my brother. My brother, if you've ever seen him, he's half my size, skinny as can be, and loses weight And if he sneezes, <laughs> you know? He's and, a scout. And, and I was trying to work out like that. And until I figured out that my body was completely different than his, um, I was just kind of beating myself into a sure. wall. So doing stuff like that is definitely um, uh, a good option. Now that I overwhelmed you, let me give you a quick start that you can do right now, right? Okay. I just think it's important. I haven't put that out in a long time. Number one, water. 
If you start hydrating, you automatically will spring the body out of conflict. You must hydrate. If the body isn't fully hydrated, water, you will not switch the nervous system from the red zone to the green zone. The body needs permission to repair. And it gets permission, one, diet, exercise, water. So that's number one is water. Drink water. Number two, if you're not ready to start a diet, put yourself in a time-restricted window. I recommend 12 to 6. Cut sugars. And just put yourself in there. What does that do? It manages a stress response. It starts moving. Number three, movement. Start moving. Start movement. Don't have to start a hard exercise, but start walking. Start moving. Start walking up and down the stairs. Get up every hour and start movement. Work on getting steps. Everybody's got it on their iPhone. Get steps if that's what it takes. Number four, Green Focus Power Hour. I can't tell you how important it is. Set the day. Start the Green Focus Power Hour. That one exercise will change your life. And number five, close the day. Set the time you're going to get up in the morning. Set the time you're going to bed and go to bed and sleep. <laughs> close the day and sleep. Those are five things that you can do right now. And the most important thing we can do when the body is in conflict is slow down. It's simple. You slow down. One, pause. Look inward. Number two, what is a story? Look at it. What's the ego talking about? Number three, ask yourself one question. Is this a fact or opinion? And number four, respond accordingly. You do that quick start program, you can get the body out of conflict in less than 30 days. Mm -hmm. Anything you want to add? That's all I got, buddy. Um, the, I know I threw a lot out there on health because I just I haven't done a show where I've just really laid it out for a long time. Well, the one thing I have is because because everything that you've said, I, I definitely agree. But coming from the super millennial technology guy, I actually don't use a lot of technology for it because I feel that journaling has been the my go to until I become proficient. You know, sleep. I haven't I didn't I didn't never worried about what was my REM sleep, what was anything like that. But I started to journal how I felt after four hours of sleep. Five hours of sleep, six hours of sleep, things like that. Um, and being able to have that kind of awareness has really changed everything for me. So I would say if, if anything that Bill said kind of overwhelmed you, um, good, it should. Um, but start to journal and see what you feel and how you feel during those processes. Same thing with workouts, water, things like that. Go through those processes uh, and go back with the journal because journal is really going to be able to help you log and see your progress and go through it. So um, that's all I have for that. All right. Anything else? You good? I think I'm good. You know, we have the draft this week, right? All right, Packer fans. If we draft another quarterback, I'm officially a Tampa Bay Buccaneer fan. <laughs> so is everyone else. <laughs> I just can't. Come on, man. Packer fans, unite. We need to draft properly. No? It's the only thing that stresses me out. If I wasn't a Packer fan, I think I'd be enlightened. I, I, I'll tell you what, my favorite part about football season is watch you watching football season. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for today's show. Our mission here is to create a shift in the planet. You can join us on this mission by simply like, share, and subscribe. Those links are right below the show. As always, until next time, stay, stay inspired. inspired.